Hey everybody, today is April 7th and I'm doing something different. So about a week ago I came out here and I noticed that my plants were infested with aphids. The plants in front of me here are tadsoi. These are beautiful plants and I grow them every year. And the reason I grow these is because uh, I like to use these in salads and soup. I use them for juicing and also I grow extra so that I can give seeds away to the viewer. Last year I gave tons and tons of these seeds away and I will be doing that again this year. But anyway, let me show you what I'm doing today. My plants were infested with aphids last week and I have been treating them with uh, neem oil and soap. So if you come out here and your plants look like that, see those black spots there? These are all dead now but last week they were just crazy, they are just everywhere on, the, on these plants. And I had regular aphids, I had woolly aphids, I mean those things look disgusting, they're just humongous looking aphids. And those guys can destroy your plants very quickly. And at the stem, let me show you some more. So there's some down here, they're all up and down the stems, and all over the pods of these plants. They're just attached and they clump into one area and they just suck the juice out of the plant and just eventually dry them up and then kill that section of the plant. So what I'm doing here is I'm treating this with neem oil. Let me show you some more. Here it is right here. These are all dead now but last week they were just ridiculous. They're just everywhere and they spread very fast. And you and if you see black ants, the black, the black ants would carry the aphids to your surrounding plants and those can spread too. So if you see those, try to get rid of them as fast as you can. They, they look somewhat like those ants right there. And just, they just farm the aphids and they carry it to the surrounding plants and those will get infected as well. So the neem oil I use is just neem oil in a regular Home Depot uh, 32 ounce bottle. So what I mix in here is 10 milliliter of neem oil 5 milliliter of just organic dish soap and then the rest I just fill it up with water and you just shake shake it up nicely and you just spray the plants everywhere I mean you if you see aphids like that and you just spray and make sure the soap make contact with aphids and those will kill them and you want to do this when the Sun is not at its peak because the soap on top of this the leaves here can actually burn the plant and uh, cause it to be damaged so you want to to treat that when the sun is going down it only took me one treatment and most most of the aphids are dead I mean I think all of them because I don't see anything alive so you want to make sure that you treat you just spray everywhere above below make sure that they make contact with the aphid if you see that's an infected air make sure that it's just make contact with aphids everywhere and uh, those would dry them out and they would just die. Uh, if you follow my video, I will be giving out free seeds of these tatsoys and I have some dinosaur kale which I will show you in a bit. Here are what the tatsoy look like. They normally don't look like this. These are just fully grown, going to seeds and that's why they look so crazy. So these are the pods here. So I will have tons and tons of seeds, maybe thousands of seeds to be given out just from these two plants. Let me show you the dinosaur kale. All right, these are my dino kale. Beautiful plants, they're very delicious and uh, very nutritious as well. So I, I grow these every year and I let a few of these go to seeds and then I give those seeds away. So hopefully these will go to seeds this year so that I can have some to give away. But here's what they look like now. They're just still young. Here's some right here. Very healthy looking plants. These leaves are really cool. You can make kale chips out of these. You can just put them in the salad. And uh, they're very nice to have. And here's some more of my tatsoi. Going to seeds. Uh, we're having thousands of those seeds to give away. The dino kale, I'm not sure. But I will be doing a follow up to show you guys. If they happen to have seeds. So I will be giving those away too. Anyway, that's all for now. So check back. And uh, I will make another updates when these are ready. Thanks for watching.